Polar bears are fascinating apex predators that are uniquely adapted to their frigid Arctic environment. Between their ability to swim long distances, their unique resistance to the cold, and their sheer size and strength, polar bears have no shortage of cool characteristics. So without further ado, here are 10 cool facts about polar bears. Polar bears are superbly adapted to life in the Arctic. Their white fur provides camouflage against a backdrop of snow and ice, making them almost invisible to prey animals, such as seals. Though their fur is white, the skin underneath is black. This is because the color black absorbs light and heat, helping to keep polar bears from freezing to death in the frigid Arctic environment. While every other species of bear is considered a land mammal, polar bears are officially classified as marine mammals. This is the same classification as whales and dolphins. This makes more sense than you would think. Polar bears spend an incredible amount of time at sea. They are excellent swimmers and their long distance capabilities are astounding. Studies have documented polar bears swimming continuously for over 100 miles straight in search of sea ice or prey. That's 160 kilometers. These long distance swims are often prompted by the bears need to find a suitable ice platform where they can more effectively hunt seals, their primary prey. In addition to their supreme long distance endurance swimming capabilities, polar bears are also extremely fast in the water. They're able to reach a top speed of around seven miles per hour or 10.5 kilometers. So obviously, if you're fleeing from a polar bear, swimming ain't an option. And staying on land isn't much better. True, polar bears are generally slower on land compared to some other bear species. The estimated top land speed for a polar bear is around 20 to 25 miles per hour, or 32 to 40 kilometers per hour. Don't be fooled though, that's still plenty fast to chase down even the fastest human. Olympic sprinters can run about 23 miles per hour, but only for distances of 100 to 200 meters. Polar bears have much better endurance and can keep their speeds up for kilometers at a time. Polar bears are considered the largest land carnivore, and they're much bigger than all of the other bear species. According to Guinness World Records, the heaviest polar bear ever documented was shot and killed in Alaska in 1960. It weighed 2,209 pounds, or 950 kilos. That's more than a ton. It stood nearly 12 feet tall and was displayed at the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. For comparison, the next largest species of bear is the Kodiak bear, native to Alaska. The record biggest Kodiak bear was 751 kilos, or 1,656 pounds. And the largest grizzly bear ever was just a bit smaller, at an even 1,600 pounds. So the biggest polar bear hasn't beat by about 600 pounds. Polar bears have an extraordinary sense of smell, which they use to detect seals from a great distance, even beneath layers of snow and ice. A polar bear's large snout and nostrils help it to smell a seal on the ice up to 20 miles, or 32 kilometers away. And they can smell a seal's breathing hole in the ice, even though the seal is underwater, more than half a mile away. Meanwhile, most humans can't even smell a bag of french fries at the bottom of a public pool. One thing you might not know about Arctic environments is that fresh drinking water is incredibly hard to find there. Any fresh water present will usually just freeze, while the seawater that remains unfrozen is too salty to drink. Polar bears don't have to worry about this problem though. They've adapted to these harsh conditions. They get most of their water from the metabolic breakdown of fat. This means that they're capable of surviving just on the water content found in the prey animals that they eat, such as seals. If they do happen to find some fresh water, they'll drink it, but they're perfectly happy to go without drinking fresh water for months on end, as long as they have a steady supply of seal blubber to eat. Pregnant female polar bears dig maternity dens in the snow, where they give birth to and care for their cubs. The dens provide insulation and protection from the harsh Arctic conditions. This is very similar to how the indigenous peoples native to the Arctic learn to deal with the harsh conditions. They use igloos and snow forts of all types to avoid the harsh elements. And polar bears do exactly the same thing. 
What can I say? Necessity breeds invention, and great minds tend to think alike. As a species that spends most of their lives on the ice and in the waters of the Arctic, polar bears are uniquely vulnerable to changes in Arctic ice coverage. Scientists measure Arctic sea ice every year in September, when satellite imaging shows ice coverage at its lowest point. Since 1979, when the U.S. government started taking these measurements, Arctic ice has declined by more than 2 million square kilometers. It's true that Arctic ice has fluctuated a lot over the course of known history, though. There have been periodic examples of a completely ice-free Arctic over the last 350,000 years. During these times, polar bears are forced onto dry land, where they can forage for their food, such as the carcasses of beached whales. That's a hard scrabble living, though, and finding this type of meal is not guaranteed. Less ice in the summer months means polar bears have a harder time finding suitable pieces of ice from which to hunt seals, forcing them to swim further and further for suitable hunting conditions. Obviously, this results in a lot of very, very hungry polar bears, and many starve to death each year. Still, polar bears as a species have survived periods of no Arctic ice at all, and are still around today. So chances are they'll find a way to survive, even with a severe lack of ice moving forward into the next few decades. What else would you expect from this supreme survivor beast? <laughs> Remember when I said that polar bear fur was white? Well, that's not technically true. Polar bear fur is actually translucent, with a hollow core. The hollow hairs scatter and reflect light, giving the appearance of a white coat. In reality, their hairs are not white, they're closer to clear. Polar bears are listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, due to the ongoing loss of their sea ice habitat. While they may be vulnerable, some polar bears are taking long-term survival into their own hands. Lack of sea ice drives polar bears out of their natural habitats and onto dry land, where they may encounter other species of bears, such as grizzly bears in Alaska. Well, when two bears meet and sparks fly, you know what happens next. Even though they are two distinct subspecies, polar bears and grizzly bears can mate and produce viable offspring. In 2006, the occurrence of this hybrid in nature was confirmed by testing the DNA of a unique looking bear that had been shot near Saks Harbor in the Northwest Territories of Canada. The number of confirmed hybrids has since risen to eight, all of them descending from the same female polar bear. Scientists haven't quite settled on a name for this new hybrid subspecies, but they've been called Growler Bears, Pizzly Bears, Zebra Bears, Grizzlars, Polizlies, or Nanulaks. That's a mouthful, I know. So I say we just call them Growler Bears and be done with it. Either way, this is a fascinating example of how a species can be driven out of its natural habitat and still find a way to survive, thrive, and pass on its genes to the next generation. If you'd like to support polar bear conservation, there's a single go-to organization working to save polar bears by preserving their natural habitat. That is polarbearsinternational.org. Consider donating if you'd like to help polar bears in the wild. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more.